welcome back. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I wanted to share 10 ways to find time to declutter. If you're new here, my name is Shannon and you can hit subscribe to join my channel. Also, all of these 10 ideas are typed out in a blog post that I will link down below. And don't forget to check out my decluttering course, also linked below. A lot of people tell me that they just do not have time to declutter. It's too overwhelming. Pause. She just threw all these random socks in here and said, I'm gonna deal with the socks later. <laughs> That's full of socks. I know. There's winter socks, there's short socks, there's long socks, you know, you gotta have a lot of socks. They're too busy, so they just don't do it. And I would like to just give you 10 different ideas of ways that you could possibly find some time in your day to do a little bit of decluttering. My first suggestion is to set a timer because I know I tend to forget when I'm trying to get something done. My day just starts going and I completely forget that I'm meant to do something. So schedule it in your phone, have a timer go off at the same time, maybe every evening if you're a working person who needs to get stuff done during the day. It'll all depend on your schedule. But set your timer and just declutter for about 10 to 20 minutes every single day and you will be very surprised what you can get done in that short amount of time. The second idea I have, and I've done this so I know it does work, is have a donation box or bag by your back door, by the front door, in your garage, wherever it works for you. Just seeing the box will trigger your mind and remind you that you are on a decluttering journey, that you are trying to go through your home and get rid of things that you don't need. And then every time you see an item that you aren't using, whether you're in your kitchen, your living room, your dining room, you can just go put it in that box and slowly over time, you will end up decluttering your whole house. My third suggestion is just to go around your home each day and find five items that you know you are no longer using. Here is a perfect example of how I found five items without really spending more than about two minutes. I opened my kitchen cupboard and found three cups that my children have grown out of and I knew I could quickly get rid of these. I also found a pair of slippers that no longer fit plus some random things that were thrown in a bin that look like they could be trash at this point. So maybe you're getting dressed in the morning and you see five pieces of clothing that you know you haven't worn in a really long time. Grab those items out, put them in a bag, stick them in your car and drop them off the next time you are out. And you could do this every day, you could do this monthly. It's really up to you, but that's a really quick way to find time to declutter is when you're in an area, you see something, you grab it out. If you ever find an item that you have never used and you don't even know where it came from, that's this. I just found this and I'm wondering what set of pans it even goes with and I know I've never used this so I'm gonna declutter this but I'm really just wondering <laughs> where it even came from. And I say five, you could do ten. Depends on how much you need to declutter but by giving yourself an amount I feel you will quickly find those items. I did a decluttering challenge a few years ago. It was 60 items in 60 minutes, and I was shocked at the amount I was able to find because we had already been decluttering our house. So this really does work, especially if you're only trying to find five items. I think most of us who need to declutter could easily find five items each day. Here I have about 15 items, and it only took me around 10 minutes to run through my house and grab out the items that I know I wasn't using. Another simple way to make time for decluttering is to either wake up 10 minutes earlier than normal or go to bed 10 minutes later than normal. Just make sure that you designate those 10 minutes for decluttering because I know sometimes if I don't know that I'm using those 10 minutes, they will be gone before I can actually start decluttering. So personally, I'm not a huge morning person. I like to wake up slowly. So for me to just go to bed 10 minutes later 
is super simple and I know those last 10 minutes I might just open a drawer, go through, see what I can get rid of and that's a really quick, easy way to find some extra time to declutter. Also, 10 minutes a day adds up to 60 hours a year, which is a lot of time for decluttering. Maybe it wouldn't be one of those huge decluttering processes where you're pulling everything out, but 10 minutes a day really will make a dent on your clutter that you need to get rid of. Number five is ask for some help with decluttering. You might have a family friend that's really good at organization and they're really good at decluttering. There are tons of courses out there. I've made a ebook that I have linked down below which shows exactly the process we use to declutter everything in our lives. So you can check that out if you're interested. But just finding someone who's willing to help you can really help with the decluttering process because they're going to encourage you and they're gonna be your partner in crime to get this done. Number six is start small or work on a small area at a time. This will help you to get something done and you can do it in a short amount of time and you can chip away at those larger projects. For instance, if I needed to declutter my whole entire kitchen, I could start technically just one drawer at a time or one cupboard at a time or one item at a time. Go around and analyze, am I using this appliance? Okay, keep it good. Am I using this appliance? No, donation box. You could do that and it would only take a few seconds each day. I think a lot of us think KonMari declutter where we're ripping everything out and it takes all day or a full week and a lot can be done in just small increments of time. Number seven is for those people that want their whole house decluttered right now, and I would suggest if that is you and you don't get overwhelmed really easily, one way to find time is maybe take some vacation time or maybe when you have a holiday or a weekend that you know you're not gonna be doing anything, designate that whole time to decluttering, get your people to help you and just go through everything and get the project done. That's one way to find time is really designate those days that you have off. It may not be fun, but the benefits that you will have from having a decluttered home, you will thank yourself a million times over. Number eight is for those really organized people and that is just to make a list and mark it from most difficult places that you need to declutter to the easiest places to declutter and then just, I say, start at the easiest place in your home to declutter, start going through everything. Decluttering for me is like a muscle. The more I do it, the stronger I get, the easier it gets and then after you've done those easy, areas that don't take a lot of time, you can transition into the harder areas of your home where you may need to spend a little bit of extra time. Once you have your itemized list of areas that you want to declutter, you can then set dates on your calendar and set times during those days that you intend to declutter those areas. And then you've set your schedule, you have to stick to it, and therefore you've set some time for the decluttering. Number nine is kind of an interesting way to declutter and that is to box up everything in one area. So if I was doing my office, I would take everything out of my closet, put it in a giant box or bin, and then just pull out the things that I need to use. And as time goes on, you will see the items that you are never using and you can declutter all of those items. I feel that is a quick, easy way to declutter because you're not actually spending a lot of time going through your stuff. You're just you pulling out the stuff you need to use, you, you know you need it, and then everything else you can clearly see you don't and you can just donate that whole box. That I feel is not the way I like to declutter, but I know that that does work for a lot of people. Number 10, if all else fails, you can hire someone to help you declutter. You can hire companies that come in and help you organize every single room in your home. 
I don't think this is the cheapest option. You still have to be there, but they will do a lot of the work for you. They'll pull everything out. They will help you organize the items into like categories. You still have to decide what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna get rid of but then they will do all the organizing and put everything back for you. So if you're really in a time crunch, but your house is complete chaos and you need to declutter, there are companies out there that do this for you. Hopefully those 10 ideas will help you find some time to declutter. I promise you the benefits will outweigh the amount of time you have to spend to go through your home. And once you do it, you really don't have to declutter very often anymore. I only declutter once a season and I just go around and look for obvious things and it takes about 10 minutes. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to never miss a video. And you can click right here to see all the ways we stay clutter free.